Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a secret hidden room using a material that you might not have thought of before. So here we have a furnace. That's right, this is a regular old furnace, except for the fact that I've placed a stone button on the furnace. Now we have a whole room here. If you're just taking a quick glance around, you might not notice that there is actually a button on the furnace. You've kind of got to be quite tricky to spot it. And if you were to walk in front of the furnace and you were to very carefully hit the button on the side of the furnace, you would drop down into your awesome secret hidden base. And down here we have everything that we might possibly want. We have an enchanting room. We have a crafting area. We even have a second floor. We climb all the way up onto the second floor and we have a nice hidden away bed and chests and flowers and furnaces and chests. We have everything we could possibly need. And all of it is hidden away, all behind and underneath the house that we are in. And if we ever want to leave, all we have to do is click this button right here. And that takes us into the start of the house. And you've got to be quite quick as well, because the pistons work rather fast. And here we are, back in the front compartment of the house. You might not even find this unless you're looking for it, and that's kind of the entire idea. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this tutorial that I'm about to show you. I'll show you how to make the mechanism. I'll give you guys a few different ways that you might want to customize your own base. And I'll also give you some more ideas of how you might want to customize this particular build to suit your own personal preferences. If you enjoy stuff like this, please do remember to smack that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you want to check out more of my content, subscribe for more, and please do suggest what you'd like to see next. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this thing. It's so easy, guys. You, you won't believe it. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some furnaces, sticky pistons, resident torches, buttons, and a block that you want to use as a wall and also the floor. Everything else is absolutely optional. This is all we will need to make the mechanism to access and leave the hidden base. Everything else is simply to build up the base itself and the house around it. So if you want to build the same base as me, you need all of the other stuff. If you're content with making your own base, grab your own stuff. So it's up to you. If you want, grab everything that you have that you can see in my inventory and then you can build the same as me but if you want your own grab your own stuff so to start this off we're going to make the actual mechanism that we use to enter the base to begin we want to chuck a furnace on the floor just a regular old furnace behind the furnace place a redstone torch you might have to crouch to do that place a button on top of in front of left or right of the furnace on top of is a nice concealed and easy way to hit the button we want to dig in front of the furnace we want to dig one block down two blocks down like this we also want to dig underneath the furnace two blocks down and even behind the furnace two blocks down so now we have a nice clear access view we want to place a sticky piston underneath and behind the furnace in such a way that the piston pushes out and is level with the furnace face. I'll actually grab a bright block here so that we can see what blocks are going to be moving. So I'm going to chuck a yellow concrete in front of that which will be grabbed on by the piston and once we hit the button on top of the furnace it drops you down into this hole I, I don't think that this hole is actually big enough big enough for us to drop currently but this is how it works you stood here and then well we get trapped by that because it's not deep enough but you guys get the mechanism we're also going to find a way to get out so the way that we actually would get out of our hidden base is just right of the actual sticky piston to the right and above the piston we're going to place a wall we're going to place two blocks that would make up the wall oakwood plank spruce wood you guys get the idea these want to be grabbed onto by sticky pistons so leaving a gap of one to the right of the concrete blocks i'm going to place two sideways facing sticky pistons like this I'm also going to 
behind the two sticky pistons, leaving a gap of one again, I'm going to place two oakwood plank blocks parallel to the pistons. I'm going to place a redstone torch on the upper oakwood plank block. This will activate the pistons. I'm also going to place a button on the side of that oakwood plank block, which will turn off the torch, which will allow us access to the room. So you can see that this is the mechanism complete. This allows us access to the underground hidden base and also it allows us to get out into the room. If you like, you can build up a wall and stuff around your furnace. So you can maybe add like a wall just behind your furnace like this. You might want to add like um, maybe like an, an alcove like this around your furnace so um, that you're kind of like keeping everything separate and hidden. Uh, you see, if you... Uh, if you have like your furnace and stuff out in the open, then you're going to be able to see the piston. So if you kind of set your furnace back along with the false wall, if you set your furnace back a row like this, then it makes it look a lot nicer. And of course, you can customize this in all sorts of ways to make it look a lot less suspicious. You can absolutely do that. It's up to you how you want to build up this particular room. Perhaps you even want to add a few things around the uh, the furnace so maybe like a chest and maybe chuck a painting on the wall or something like that something that you can do by the way is you can even add a vertical painting where the false wall will be and that will remain there even if you push the piston away so if you were to press that the painting still remains and people might actually also sillily think although they won't know any better that when you press this you gain access to the room via the painting, but of course it's not, it's this block here. Anyway, let's build a little bit of a base now that we've done the mechanism. So I'm going to knock out this concrete block, I'm going to drop into this hole, and I'm going to just dig one more. Wow, we have found a cavern. That is, that's really unfortunate. It's okay, we can fix this. So... We want to drop, be able to drop down into this hole that we have right here, yeah? We want to just be up on the surface and we want to just drop down into this hole. And there just wants to be enough room down here that, um, that we want to be able to walk into a base. So we only need like a two block, uh, a, 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 sort of like a two block thing. So... Where we have this piston, we want to, knocking into the wall, let's pretend this doesn't exist, knocking into the wall, I'm going to knock out a row of five going towards the back of where I want the base to be. So I'm going to knock a row of one, two, three, four, five, like this. I also want to knock to the left of me and also the right, and I want to knock out three rows to the left and right, and I, I want that to be like five rows. So like one, two, three four and then that would be um, five wouldn't it and then I'm going to knock out the floor as well and I'm going to knock out another row and then I'm going to knock out another row and you know what I might even do another I might yeah so I'm going to knock out four rows to the left you guys can knock out even more if you want to and I'm going to knock out four rows to the right so that'll be one row two row three row and four rows and that's all going to be knocked out just to the right of us and to the left and this is going to provide a little bit of a room for our hidden base that's going to look quite nice if i do say so myself yep that's that's looking quite good we might even knock out the ceiling by one row as well just so that we've got a little bit more room down here yeah we can knock out the ceiling and uh, the only issue that will become of this is that we're just going to have to replace this. Uh, we're just going to have to use like either slabs or something like that just to completely replace the ceiling that we have. But you can now see that this is where our hidden base is going to be. So I'm just going to put in a new ceiling. I'm going to use like stone slabs, something like that. That'll be fine. And uh, this is going to be more than enough room for us to have a nice functional hidden base under. This is going to be a nice place for us to have a nice hidden base. I'm just going to place all of that there. Uh, the way that I want to enter and leave the hidden base is obviously we enter down here, but I want to leave using this back middle wall. So I'm going to knock a block up here and I'm going to chuck a ladder on here. I wish that I already had a ladder, but silly me, I didn't think about it. And the way that we're going to actually leave the base is that we'll climb up the ladder into this room that we have and then we will 
leave just as I described earlier. So it might be that you want to build some walls up around here. You might want to um, see the space that you now have, depending on how big the base is. And you might want to form some walls around your base, as you can see me doing here. So you might want to just build up some walls and stuff just to... Um, I don't know, just to kind of like figure out your perimeter and figure out what you have to work with. That's why I'm kind of building this up. This is going to be the like second floor of my hidden base. So I, I'm, I'm just going to add some walls in. I'm not going to make it the nicest hidden base in the world because this is just a tutorial. But um, I'm just going to make it, uh, you know, I'm just going to give you some guys some ideas. So there we go. So this is the second floor. So once again, just to show you this. So we click this. We are allowed to now enter the first part of our hidden base. If we had a block here, we the way that we would enter the... Here we go. So this is the hidden base. We've just left the room into the hidden base. And then, of course, we climb all the way back up here. And then that's how we enter and leave. Let's make this place look a little bit nicer. So as soon as you drop into here, I kind of want to make it a couple of different levels. So, like, what I want to do is I kind of want to add maybe, like, a spruce wood here and here. And here, here, oh, hang on, it's not placing here, and here. And I want to create kind of like a corridor. So I kind of want to place some oak wood fence here, connecting to the walls like this. And I also want to light the place up a bit. So I'm going to grab some torches and I'm going to place them on top of the fence, preferably. Just because I think that they look kind of okay, just balanced up there on top of the fence. I think that that looks kind of alright. I also want to dig into the ground here and... I just want to make it so that I've like, I now have a bit more of a space to walk around in. So like I'm going to place a, uh, a, a stair here and I'm going to place some oak wood slabs. And that way we're kind of like set downwards from each part of uh, the base. And I'm going to place an oak wood stairs on this side and this side just so that we can easily access these particular points of the base. I'm chuck an oak wood plank in here. You can see that this place is shaping up quite nicely actually. It's looking quite good down here. And on one side, I think that I'm going to chuck a, uh, I'm going to chuck like an enchantment table and I'm going to surround it using some uh, bookshelves like this. That's looking pretty decent. Maybe completely surround it. Maybe put like uh, a stone slab block just up above the, yeah, that looks quite good. Or I, I could even like go as far as like, yeah, making, making something look nice like that. If I wanted to, if I want to customize things further, I can, of course, like, knock into the walls and I can place glowstone and stuff. Really make the place look nice if I wanted to. Or you could say even, maybe, like, even back even further like that and you could uh, place things like wooden trap doors there instead just to kind of, like, create a nice sort of effect. I like how that looks personally. And uh, on the opposite side, oh, and also, like, if you wanted more, uh, more of an effect... Uh, um, then you would probably place like um, more and more bookshelves, preferably hidden like around the enchantment table. Um, I'm also though going to replace the floor with red concrete just to make it look a bit more planned out here because I don't want it to look as though like it's it's just your your average boring sort of like I don't know how to describe it. I don't want it to look like a, a, a cave. I don't want this place to just look like a cave. I want this to look like proper planned out nicely done nicely furnished area. I don't want it to be um, just well just like I said I, w I want it to look like it's actually 100% deliberate which it is. And on this opposite side here, I'm just going to place some stuff that you'd need. Like, you'd obviously want some furnaces and some crafting tables, anvils, that sort of stuff around, wouldn't you? So maybe like a chest, maybe like a, fur Ooh, maybe a furnace, crafting table. Maybe we create a couple, of, uh, a couple of shelves and maybe we elevate the anvil. And maybe we even elevate, do I have one, a brewing stand? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good if I do say so. And uh, we could even chuck, hide a couple chests here as well if you if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. That's looking quite nice. Um, I might even do. I even want to maybe add like a little bit more like a fence here, to kind of just like connect to the ceiling a bit, and then maybe like with an additional uh, additional stone slab. It does make it look a bit more planned out if we do that. I, I don't mind that at all. That looks quite good. We can even create a shelf above all of the crafting stuff. And what we could do is we can set some glowstone kind of like back as we did on the other side. So we could maybe put some glowstone here and maybe like... 
that there and we could even if we wanted to cover that up a little bit with stone slabs it creates a cool sort of effect i quite like that that, <laughs> that actually looks really cool this is a nice little base that we've got here and of course if you wanted to i'm not going to do this um for the entire room because it'd be a bit irritating to do but we can make the walls and stuff we can actually make them out of oak wood planks we can simply replace the blocks or we could use stone or we could use another material that you wouldn't typically find around the place it might even be cool if you gave like the top of the room a trim like if you used uh maybe like some spruce wood like if you kind of like did some spruce around the top and if you made the rest of the walls maybe like oak um, just like oak wood planks or something. I think that that would look really nice. It'd look really cool. And that's that's just a little idea for what you could do for the base downstairs. I mean, if we come onto the second floor here, if we come onto the second floor, I mean, there's not that much to show you up here. I mean, um, all we have to do up here is, of course, we we can just chuck like a bed, and we can just uh, grab all of these sorts of regular things. Like we can grab a couple of chests maybe around here. We could uh, maybe even like have stone. Uh, can you place flower pots on top of? Uh, on top of fence. That is a good question. Maybe some fence here. I'd like it if you could place them on top of fence, but I'm not sure you can. I doubt you can. No, what about... No, you can't. That's a real shame because I do really kind of like that effect. So maybe you could even place like some spruce wood or something. I, d I don't know. Maybe like some spruce wood coming outwards. Maybe some like... I don't know. Just kind of, just kind of like different things that you can just make it... Just to kind of like lighten up the room a little bit. I don't know. I, I think that that looks alright. You could even just kind of add some just random things around the place to make it... Um just to make it look a little bit more interesting in here. And of course, what we would also want to do is we would want to put a ceiling on this. The idea is to make this around a house or make a house around it is uh, actually a bit more... Uh, a bit more accurate so i'm just gonna drop down into oh come on there we go just gonna drop down into here and the entire idea is of course to make a house around this so um you're probably not going to be want to wanting to place that much maybe i mean maybe we can even kind of use the i kind of like these they're kind of like tiki torches um just like torches on top of fences i quite like the effect um you could even have like one here i mean you can you can kind of just uh, place whatever way you want of course but i mean i, I don't know i mean you can uh, you can customize this place how you like uh, I, d I don't I'm, I'm not really sure what else to tell you I mean this is kind of like an awkward room to decorate this is really just so that you can get out but I'm sure that you guys have plenty of ideas for what you could do to this particular room and of course once we've finished decorating the entire place we leave and all you would do from this point onwards is you'd make the house you'd make this into a house so you'd like add some spruce wood around the place and you'd like build up the area around this and you'd add some stuff to the front so like you'd have like a maybe i don't know like a, i'm not going to do like a like a perfect house or anything but i mean you guys get the idea so i mean you you now have a nice foundation for a house so you'd just build up whatever sort of house you want to around this particular build and you would also furnish the front part of this with stuff that makes it look nice so that when you do walk in from the outside then you just walk directly to your furnace you drop yourself down and you've got this awesome hidden underground part of the base and of course you have this part as well it's really cool i really like this as a base because it's got multiple aspects to it and it's really easy to hide and you can make it just about anywhere the mechanism is so small and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tutorial for this particular part. But just to show you, uh, maybe if you want an idea for a house that fits very well with this, let me show you the first version of this. So here we are once again at the original version, and this is just a very nice house that is really easy to make. It's so simple, but yet it completely conceals the hidden room. You just have to make something like this. It doesn't have to be the prettiest house in the world because, of course, the main reason for the house 
is the actual hidden base. You're not exactly looking to show off your building skills anywhere else, you just want to make a house that doesn't draw any sort of suspicion. As a matter of fact, the worse the house, the better, as the case might be, to hide away in your base. But Guys, that is, that's pretty much everything. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the video. I'm hoping that you've drawn some inspiration from it, that you've made your own bases from this, that you've followed along with the mechanisms and stuff. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do remember to smack that like button. That would really help me out. Honestly, it would really, really help me out. It helps the channel. It helps me out. It makes me all sorts of happy. And if you do enjoy the video, if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you subscribe, please do remember to click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all of my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And on top of all of those things, if you want to suggest more stuff that you want to see, and if you want to check out pre-existing videos, if I'm not releasing videos fast enough for you, check out the card system, the description below. There's so much for you guys to see. I'm hoping you did enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.